Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Oasis Park. And we are actually coming to... Well, we're nearing the end of this park. Um, in today's episode, we actually get the roller coaster, our final roller coaster done. And, um, it's gonna... I gave it a very interesting name. I, I first set up the colors, um, for the ride, um, before I gave it a name. And then after the name, I kind of wanted to go for a snake, a color for a snake. So, the color of the B&M the Mini Hyper, which is a fi the official ride that we uh, went with, and you guys saw in the thumbnail, is black with um, the rails, um, the tubular steel rails being red. And I was looking up on um, black snakes, and one of them caught my eye. It had a very interesting name, and it didn't have black in its name, and it wasn't like... Mamba or whatever. I um I found a snake and I'm gonna put it onto the screen right now. It is called Sudekes. Um at least that's what, how I'm pronouncing it. Um I did try to pronounce in pronunciation and that's how it said um Sudekes, which it actually I actually like the name. It sounds a little bit mysterious. And what, the reason why I chose this name, because I already had the color scheme set out, like I said, and this snake is black with trims of red on it. But, um, that's why this episode is split into two. Like, not into two episodes, but split into two parts. The first part is working on this, uh, the drop tower, which is... I can just confirm has a pretty long line for what it is um, after I'm done. And then also the building of the um, being a mini hyper. And I mentioned this in the last episode, I was basically inspired by the Knots. Um, the Knots um, mini hyper. Because <laughs> I just. Uh, uh, but I went for this a style kind of. Not like the one that Knots is getting, but kind of like a mini hyper, sort of like the, um, uh, sort of like, um, uh, like, why can't I, remember? Raging Bull. It's like, it has the, it goes out for a tiny bit, and it comes back in and does this kind of spaghetti bowl-esque style. The only problem with the coaster is that I don't know how to fit in, um, a path for it. But, um, based on the setup that we have, we can run three trains, hopefully. Hopefully without any problem. We have a mid-course, and so, and then a, um, a holding break at the, um, before you get into the station. And the ride is at around 160 feet? 150 feet, and the max speed is around 64. I honestly forgot to turn down the friction of the coaster. That's how good it, how fast it was. And the thing, the contest, contest did say to put down the, um, the, the, um, friction. Uh, yeah, it says very much can, it says please set to 0 0.8 or 0 0.7, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, hopefully it doesn't, like, just, like, just make the ride unrideable, because it already pulls with pretty high G-forces. So that's my only um, criticism of the coaster is that it's a little too intense for B and M, but and it does have a lot of airtime. It has two moments of airtime according to the thing. I think there's a little bit more, but that's what the the game says. So who that can't really be 100% trusted. But continuing, um, I'm real. So I'm gonna not let you guys. Um, feel like you have to, I'm not gonna, because I never actually got answers in the comments from the last episode, by the time I recorded this, so I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna make you guys wait. So, uh, today, which is Saturday, is a, um, gonna be today's episode. Monday, even though I really don't like uploading on Mondays, it just has to be done done. Oh, and here comes the coaster building um, process. I was thinking about going with a um, El Voco at first, but then I changed my mind once I, like, try to, try to make it. I'm not, I don't think I was really that good at making the El, El Voco, but, um, continuing. Um, where was I? Oh. 
on Mon yeah, there is the cut. So on Monday, I'm, um, I'm, um, gonna upload the final episode, where we look, where we, um, not look, where we actually do stuff. And then, we're gonna upload on either Wednesday or Thursday, the, of me touring the park. And we'll, you guys will be able to, um, with live commentary, and it's not going to be like this where I record the um, time lapse and then I talk about it or whatever. And hopefully you guys are fine with that. Um, if people do comment in the comment section saying they're really, they just really want to wait, then I would. But I'm, I'm not, like, I don't know how, how much I want to do that. <laughs> but... I'm gonna stop talking, let you guys enjoy some music, and I'll come in before the end of the time lapse. Cause we do have a POV to watch. And yeah. Okay guys, so we are nearing the end of this episode. Um, before we go, I just want to say that the only thing I don't like about this coaster is the ending. And I may go through and just go over the road again. Because um, I also forgot to um, enclose that section. We're going to continue the same walls, just pass, like, let the road pass through. And then we'll just continue on the other side. Uh. God, sorry, yawning. Um, but 
that's the only thing I'm not happy about is the ending of the ride. So may I may go back in and fix that. So maybe in the next episode we are gonna see a little bit of coaster building. But yeah. Um I I don't think you guys for watching this episode. I'm just gonna stop talking now. You have about three minutes left of the video. Um about a minute of that is time lapse, not time lapse, it's POV. So I should start wrapping things up here. Um, I would like to thank you guys for watching. Um, please come back on Monday um, to watch the final episode of us actually doing time lapse. And then episode 9 will be the first time ever I have completed a park in Planet Coaster. First time ever I've completed a project. <laughs> like, I just have very bad commit commitment issues, and I just think this is perfect. And I'm just glad that we're at this point. I would like to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!